Hey there, before we start the video, I just wanted to let you know that if you see anything in this video that you really like, you can go to MetallicaMom.com, Google it, type it in, whatever you need to do, and then once you get to MetallicaMom.com, if you don't see what you're looking for, all you have to do is hit that little button on the bottom right corner, and you could chat directly with me. Anything you type in there, it goes right to my cell phone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so I just spent a half an hour looking for a good flyer in one of the thousands of Scentsy photo dump groups where people take the Scentsy images and then they make flyers and they distribute them free of charge. Much appreciated. I use them all the time. I have contributed to them many times. I've had people ask me to make flyers for them. Whatever. Um, and I could not find a decent one that has this collection with the description that isn't awful. This is the closest I could find because I wanted to have the descriptions in front of you, but holy shit, you can't see anything there. Let me give you a little hint. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you how to do things even though I'm not doing them for myself. Yeah, right. Um, if you're gonna make a flyer, and this is on an iPad, okay? This is on a big 12.9 inch screen and I can't read that. If you're gonna make a flyer that has information on it, either make the product smaller and the font bigger. Look at all this empty space. I understand that you're trying to do, the, listen, if you're watching this video, I appreciate your work, I really do. But I'm just giving you a hint as somebody who's been doing this for a pretty long time. This would not sell anything to my customers. I can't read that. I'm sure you can't either. Most people are looking at this on a little phone, a little four by five phone, okay? I can't read that, and it's not just because I don't have my glasses on, because even when I open it up, that font is terrible. Awful. It look, I, I mean, half of the stuff, it spark, I, I can't, I, I can't. Either make the product smaller and the font larger, or shorten up these descriptions to just have nouns in them. You know what I'm saying? Get, all, get rid of all the descriptive words. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna take this and just throw it out the window, and I'm gonna go right over to my PWS. <laughs> now, I looked up TRA because I'm going to talk about a wax that has TRA flower in it. And I said, I know that word. I've heard of that word before. I never heard of it before, Sensi. And so I went to my PWS, which is my personal works, work, uh, personal website. And that, by the way, that is metallicamom.sensi.us. And in the search bar, I put in a word. You could put in jasmine, you could put in wax, you're going to get a lot in wax. You, you can put in lavender, and all the things that they have come up, okay? Now, the cool thing right now, since you didn't used to do this, when they have an anticipated item, they actually now put it on the PWS, or the personal website, and it says coming soon. We're going to talk about tiara and coconut in a second, but I just wanted to let you know that you could do that if you wanted to, if you really like bergamot, or if you really like vetiver, or if you really like whatever. Go to somebody's website, doesn't have to be mine, but I prefer it to be mine, hello, and um, just type in that word. Even if you like, I know that I had a warmer back in the day and it had glitter. You can put in glitter, right? Anyway. So as far as the descriptions of this collection I'm going to talk to you about will go, and this is the Island Days Bundle, I'm just going to click on here, and it's going to give me the description right here. This is a much better way for me to communicate information to my customers than that other than this, because, oh my God. <laughs> That's just me being judgmental. I'm just letting you know that I think that uh, this is a much better way of doing things. Anyway, so... Let's put this over here because you don't necessarily need to see the words at this point. And we're going to talk about these five bars of wax. Okay. I know the lighting in here is a little wonky. Okay. Um, I have used all of them except for that one. I can't touch it. I can't touch it. Let's talk about it first and just get it out of the way. And then I'm going to put it in my stock and I'm going to sell it. And I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people who love this not my cup of tea. This is called Sunshine and Tan Lines. Okay. Sunshine and Tan Lines is described as orange flower and creamy banana sunbathed in a sea of whipped coconut. This is all coconut to me. I do believe it kind of polluted all of my other um, uh, clamshells here. 
I did not like this whatsoever in the clamshell. I could never bring myself to warm it. Like I said to you in my last video, was it my last one or two videos ago? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm not going, I'm going to no longer warm wax that not, it doesn't turn my stomach. It's just not my thing. This smells like straight up suntan lotion, but more, so much coconut. It's crazy. I, 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 I've never really liked the fragrance of suntan lotion so much. I'm not a beach person. I know that everybody's just like, oh, I can't believe you don't like the beach. I live on an island. <laughs> I live on Long Island. Technically, it's an island. Um, technically, Queens is on Long Island. Did you know that? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I grew up going to the beach every single day in the summertime, Jones Beach and Nassau. Um, with my mother, she used to drag us all to the beach every single day, and I hated every minute of it. Hated the sand in my bathing suit, hated the wind, hated the seagulls, hated everything about it. The chafing, the salt water, ah, it's just not my thing. It's not my thing. Give me a cruise. I'll be on the ocean. I love the ocean. I just don't want to touch sand. I don't like touching sand. Anyway, this is called Sunshine and Tan Lines. This collection of five bars is only 25 bucks, which means that they're $5 each, okay? Am I going to tell you that it's worth the bunch? Yep. Even if there's one that you don't like at all, it's worth the bunch. And then you give it as a gift. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about them from bad to good. We'll do that. Okay, and then when I say bad, it's just because it's not my favorite. Okay, Star Apple and Freesia is described as a burst of Star Apple and tropical mango garnished with pink Freesia. This is very floral. It's not very heavy on the mango, which I appreciate. Um, it was kind of boring and not really exciting, which I just said the same thing twice. Um, it was, it warmed up and out and it was gone uh, before the evening was over. Put this in my warmers around four o'clock in the afternoon, came out the next morning and I couldn't smell a thing. So if you want to make a nice impression on somebody for just a couple of hours, this is perfect. Or you can be not wasteful like me and you can shut off your warmers at night. <laughs> I'm too lazy. I did try to put them on the timed plugs for a while and I, I don't know I think I bought cheap ones because they kept on getting screwed up with the the app kept on rebooting and stuff anyway whatever star apple and freesia is okay oh my god star apple and freesia is okay not my favorite again still the bundle is still worth it and I would tell you guys because you could also put these into your own separate bundle if you wanted to but it's also good to try new things, you know? Driftwood and Jasmine. I wanted to like this a lot more than I did. That's not to say that I didn't like it. It's described as Driftwood and Jasmine. Add depth to a beach of Tahitian vanilla. I smell coconut up in this bitch. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it was because it was next to the sunshine and tan lines. I'm not sure. I smell a lot of coconut in this. I don't smell enough Jasmine. <sighs> The driftwood gives it a little bit of a bitter thing, but this one didn't not last. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it was uh, long lasting, but it lasted as long as any other Scentsy Bar would, which I appreciate. It was only slightly feminine. I could see guys liking this because it does have that little bit of driftwood bitterness vibe. Um, but it's still a little too coconut for me, which is one of the reasons why I didn't like the Sunshine Tan Lights. Just, just too, a little too coconut for me. Okay. Tiare and coconut, like I said, I liked Tiare flower and the other thing, which was coconuts for coconuts, which is going away. And now today's the 24th. So literally one week from today, you can only get coconut for coconuts for another week, which has Tiare flower in it. Um, and if you don't necessarily want to buy coconut for coconuts now, you could put it into your Scentsy Club and then you'll get it whenever your Scentsy Club uh, goes and then you can decide if you want to continue to put it in your scentsy club or not anyway tiare and coconut is described as silky tiare flower and coconut enjoy a breathtaking sparkling citrus sunset now i told you that i didn't like coconut but the tiare flower cuts this perfectly like so much so that i i think that i would like coconut but it's the combination of the tiare flower and the coconut. And then there's just that little bit of citrus right at the end. It's so good. 
it lasted a really long time this one lasted three days in my bedroom honestly loved it is it going to go into my Scentsy Club? No, because I'm not going to put everything into my Scentsy Club. I only get one Scentsy Club three times a year? Four times a year? It's every three months. Four times a year. <laughs> Math. Um, and it's already at like 30-something bars, okay? So in each collection, I'm only going to be putting one, you know, bar of wax. Um, and guess what's going in there? Salted bergamot breeze. Oh my gravy. Okay, so I I should have filmed myself smelling these for the first time because I almost um, died <laughs> when I smelled this for the first time. Oh my God. A refreshing ocean breeze <sighs> carries hints of pineapple and groves of salted bergamot. I like bergamot a lot. Bergamot is like a greenery smell with lemon in it but not like lemon verbena it's um it's a citrusy green note okay and then the pineapple oh i, I don't really like pineapple because we have like pineapple sorbet pineapple pucker pineapple this pineapple and fuego whatever it is blah 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 Ugh, but this was just fantastic i loved it it lasted a long time it was actually a romantic fragrance Unbelievable. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Now, usually things that are called salted are not my favorite. In fact, we had something, we had salted lavender from the International Collection. And then we had salted caramel cookie. We had salted, I, we've had a lot of things that are considered salted. Never really turned me on like this does. So I don't know if I'm smelling the salt or not because I never really liked salted whatever before. This was just absolutely amazing. I used it all up. Did four cubes in my bedroom one night, four cubes in my bedroom like two or three days later because I just had to do it. I just, I couldn't let it sit. It was, it was like having cold egg rolls in your fridge that call out to you at two o'clock in the morning. Like, I just want them. I just want them right now. This doesn't smell like egg rolls, but this is going to go into my Scentsy Club. I cannot put it into my Scentsy Club until it actually goes on sale, which is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Tomorrow is the 25th. My father's birthday is tomorrow. He's going to be 81 tomorrow. Anyway, so like I said, all four of these. Great. This can kiss my ass. I do not like this one. I am talking to you about that one because it's in the collection, and I do think that the collection is worth it. If I had to spend more money on these, which I bought two of these, so uh, two of these collections, right? If I had to spend more money on these, I would probably get a six pack and it would be three of each of these. And I might even mix them together, okay? Because these were so good. You know what? This one shouldn't have coconut with it. No, I wouldn't mix them together, but I would mix the bundle. I would get three and three for six bars of wax. It's only 30 bucks, okay? So essentially you'd be paying the same amount per bar because this is 25 for five for 25, I would get six for 30 and I would get three and three of those. That's my recommendation to you. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. The next video I make is probably gonna be an empties video. And then the video after that is going to be a video of our last chance tab on our website. I should probably do that before I do my empties video, but whatever. Um, we only have a month left in this season and then all of a sudden it's winter. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sweating and it's July 23rd fourth today. Ridiculous. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. Happy Sunday. Bye.